Right, just making up the spade, the extra spade tunnel for the side lights. As you know, just so you know, just to remind you, the side lights are already on this, but the side light spade's now getting used for the high beam bulb, which means we need an extra tag for the side light, which there it is. And for your for the real OCD fans, we're using the right colour wire for side lights, grey and yellow, and then for the other side, grey and red, grey and black, I think it is. Just because I had the cable around, I may as well use it and a little OCD touch there. That's the internal wire now, which will pick up. Look, there's your bolt, your screw coming through the plastic. I've used an um, electrical block connector that I've cut down. This will then have the wire on one end, and then I'll offer that inside the casing, and then screw that screw up, and that'll lock the whole thing together. It should be solid then. Okay, and then that'll give us a wire protruding out which will come just outside of this cap because I know from experience that the aftermarket um, bowls, lens bowls, have the side like this one hasn't but they normally have it about there so when I put the cap on it's not going to make it, it's going to be just outside of the cap so I'm going to have enough cable on this to connect an earth to it and to the, the positive to it and it will come just at the side of the bowl be hidden when the cowling's on and you probably won't even see that run across there so that's how that's going to work I mustn't forget to to um, pick up the earth tab as well because you're going to have to pick up that extra earth tab there because the uh, the bulb on the aftermarket one doesn't have the casing as the earth it has it an earth and a positive so you'll, you'll have another cable coming up which will have to solder onto one of these Okay, so I've just got the iron heating up now, ready to connect this wire to the block. Then we'll screw the block inside there. Let me do that now. Okay, I'm soldered on there, and there's my screw that's going to pick up inside here. So I've just got to offer it up now, get a lucky screwdriver, and connect that up inside there. Away we go with that, lucky screwdriver there. Okay, we're back, uh, back on there now. You can see the extra connector in. Just to add it a bit more, make it a bit more authentic, I've solder the top of the screw to the tag and let it just slightly sink into the plastic to build it in so let me just pull that plug off so you can see sorry about the shaky camera but I'm one-handed again as you know there you are so an extra tag added to the uh, back of the unit all we do then multi plugs on there and then simply just connect up your spade for your side light That'll be going onto the harness. So this now will now get built into the loom. And this will be cut and modified to a, for the highlight. So this wire will now swap places with one of these in the loom. We'll cut and splice that in. We're going to make this white so it's the correct colour cable going in. And then you'll have the spare connector there which will then pick up and then goes to that relay for the uh, high beam. So that's how that's going to look standard. Well, not standard, but in keeping with it, should I say. So do one of those caps, another one of those caps now for the other side. Then I'll then build the wiring harness up. And what I'll do with the wires coming out of this cap, I'll connect the bulbs to them and mock that up. So you'll have your halogen bulb high low and your side light on. Okay, you won't have the headlamps in because they're in the post. I'm waiting to do that glass conversion, as you know, I explained before. On, the, on this setup now we'll move the glass, uh, move the headlights out of the way, convert the other one of these, put the wiring in, get the relay wired in and everything and then I'll, I'll show you how it works set up on here and then you, you'll probably get the picture then if you've not, if I've lost you anywhere along the way. I know in my head it's clear but trying to explain it onto the video um, isn't as easy. I'm just hoping you can keep up with me on, on it. So that nice little, created a little rivet head there with some solder so it looks pretty good that a little bit to the right there off centre but hey I'm not going that far my OCD is not that bad that's pretty tidy enough so next job build another one of those and then start to connect the, the cables in the right way and get the relay fitted let's find the relay it should be up here the relay waiting around somewhere on the stores there it is okay and then we're going to find a suitable power feed in the loom to pick up that feed from leave that with me for a sec right you're in with me 
to, I'll show you the second one to take you through it. So, lock connector, um, lock connector terminal, screw out of it, drill the hole into the casing. And then I'm going to solder now the, oops, watch my fingers there. I'm going to solder now the terminal on. I've used the other side, the side light colour cable now for the ultimate OCD, which is grey and red. In we go with the solder on. Okay, so we'll go in there. Then this goes through my little drilled angle piece of spade connector. I don't know what size drill that was that I put through that. I'm not sure actually. It could be 4mm, 5mm. So we'll offer that up to that. Then screw through and then pick it up on the inside with a soldered wire. That's it. That's how you do that. I'll do, st uh, well, you can stay online if you want. Right. There's our hole. That bad boy, see that no adverts have just come on. Because usually, what, as soon as I start chatting away, you get all them adverts, and I've watched on YouTube when you play it back. It's very distracting. There we are, and then we'll cap that with silver with solder. Let's make sure the plug re uh, doesn't block anything. Watch that iron. Let's put, it, put some metal under the iron there. There we are on the inside. There's your side light wire coming out there. We'll put some uh, heat protective braiding on that as well, same as those. I can get that. Um, I'll need a slightly longer run of it, so I was going to pinch them off a spare connector, but I can get this from Macklin, that braiding there. Just stop this cracking basically uh, with the heat of the halogens. So we're done there. Watch out, I've got a wire burning on my iron there. Nothing's set on fire yet. So now both those are done. Let's just cap that with solder. Take this off. Stick that this side there, right? So iron on. So I need a decent iron when you're doing stuff like this. This is 80 watts. Just to make it like a, a brass stud, really. This. Also, the, as I'm doing it, the spade is going to try and sink into the plastic. Leave it now. You don't want to go too hot with that because it'll just push it straight through the housing. Whoops. Up there. There we are. Capped. And no, I'm not going to paint it brass colour. Hey, decent music. Right, I've just taken you over to the, the next area I'm working on. There's those we just made. Right, look at Swampy's plugs. Faded, corroded, snapped. And someone's been messing about with some mods here. Previous owner damaged uh, indicator wire. So I've got this new piece to replace that one. There's a, a piece out of a, a good loom. And then some new plugs here from a new loom. 
we're going to transplant these plugs and cables across into this so these old brittle plugs can go these fresher ones can go in so that's what I'm doing that's the I don't know what side that is actually I think this is the let's have a look it's gonna be uh, <clears throat> I think this is the passenger side yeah we're on the passenger side here right so just gonna unplug these plug them in and then I'm gonna cut out this damaged cable and splice it around here cut this loom back so we can get enough cable to make the join so a couple of joins in here now the yellow one looks all right we can keep that indicator one needs replacing side light one has been messed with I don't know what's going on with that plug that should go straight into the multi plug so that one's connected into the multi plug then we're nearly ready to go on this end we can stick a light on and actually set this end up running should get side lights main beam and oh no I've, not, I've got to put my full beam wire in yet so I've got an extra wire to go in yet so we're not quite ready to test let me get some extra cable now to do this high beam wire okay took that out of the damaged socket now used um, a flattened down raising rod hammered it down on an anvil on the RSJ and that makes a nice strong hook which you can insert into the block to push down the release pin there see that release tang and then you can get your wires out easy screwdriver tends to mess it all up so that's it's basically a very thin bladed screwdriver I guess works well bit of brazing rod hammered down flat and then just trimmed with some side cutters right so I'm just got a great little handy brush here it's a suede brush that cleans that connector up good it's not too bad that's quite in good order so we're ready to contra lube that and put it into the new housing just getting ready to be offered up here I'll just do that operation for you now we're slowly one by one swapping the wires across icing in the side light cable heat shrink on first slide it right back so it doesn't get distorted by the solder and then we need to bear these ends now connect up okay that's that butt solder joint done slide the sleeve slide the sleeving over Get ready for heat shrinking that. Okay, 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 okay. Clean harness for that side of the light unit. The reason why if I connect that to that unit over there that we shouldn't get something out of this, let's have a go. Let's have a laugh. Might work. The mod I've made, I've decided to keep the side light on the original block and use that additional blade that I put on as the actual uh, high beam fitting that way it's more logical to do it that way because uh, that's an addition it's, it seems right that the, the additional wire goes on the additional pin rather than swapping that so slight mod to the previous uh, recording there the, um, this blue cable will now form that high beam so this is going back to the relay and this fits on that extra terminal which is, is more than adequate to carry the current for that bulb so that's going on there with the spade on the end of this now. Earth crop clip on there, connect that to the battery. There, shrink wrapped up, that's on. That's there ready for when you want the high beam conversion. So it's as standard actually now, completely standard. Totally factory at the back with no mods. Standard headlamp unit there. Um, headlamp relay connected, there's no reason why they've got bulbs in. So let's just see what happens. I'm on the switch side. Yep, main, yep, and then let's get the high beam toggle, and we're on. Right, so we're working there. You can see what happens now, seat swaps across. Dip beam, high beam. I want it so that when I go um, to high beam that that's, that one stays on, but switches to, the, to its other high beam bulb inside on the dual bulb so you'll get four high beam headlights something looking like like that really I mean you